here's today's story, friends. It's fall. Let's see what it's all about. Wonderfall by Michael Hall. In this book, you will discover one colorful tree, two scurrying squirrels, and 15 blended words created to celebrate the wonder of fall. Let's see if you can find those blended words as I read today's story. Peace fall. A gentle breeze is jiggling me. I hear my acorns drop. Plink, plunk, plop. So that oak tree feels the wind blowing it. Duty fall. Beep. The busy yellow bus is back. I haven't seen it since last spring. Plenty fall. Apples, apples, ready to munch. Yellow, red, green, crunch, crunch. Beauty fall. Autumn colors all around. And look, rustle, rustle. I'm dressed for the season too. Can you see how the leaves are starting to change on the tree? Event fall. I've got the sport for this parade. Tap, boom, tap, boom, tap, boom. Fright fall. Howling cats and fluttering bats. Welcome, ghosts and goblins. Tonight the streets belong to you. Boo! Thankfall. Gather together. Gobble, gobble. Yum, yum. Delightfall. What's this? Oh my, my friends found a piece of pumpkin pie. Playfall. Look who's chasing in my trees. Look who's romping in my leaves. Look at how the leaves have fallen down. Force fall. Whoosh, whoosh, whoa. What wild whirling winds. Not many leaves left now. Help fall. Hooray, hooray. The cleanup crew arrived today. Resource fall. Chopped, bag, stomped, and stowed. My leaves will make marvelous mulch. Wistfall. Goodbye, geese. I'm sad to see you go. Look at that over in the tree. Watchfall. See the mist. Hear the quiet. Smell the cold. Will this night bring the first snowfall? Were you able to find all the blended words that had full at the end, but the author changed them to fall like the season? Let's see what else the author wants to tell us. It says, getting ready for winter. Fall is here. I'm showing off my colors. What is everyone else doing? When an animal hibernates, it builds or finds a warm den or roost where it can spend their winter. Hibernating animals store up food and sleep a lot. When an animal migrates, it usually heads south in the fall and returns north in the spring. Some birds and insects fly long distances in order to find food and return to their first nesting grounds. Let's start with the monarch butterflies. The monarch butterflies that are born in late summer and early fall migrate south to California and Mexico. They can travel for thousands of miles. When winter ends, they start north again. The little brown bats. They hibernate 
when it gets cold and sometimes migrating a little to reach good hibernating areas. But when the weather warms up, even on winter day, they will leave the roost and hunt for food. Cardinals and indigo buntings are songbirds. Indigo buntings migrate at night following the stars. Cardinals stay put during the winter. Some Canadian geese migrate, but others who have discovered good things to eat in neighborhoods with open water stay right where they are through the winter. Geese travel with their families, flying in V-shaped flocks through the air. Raccoons are most active at night. They eat as much as possible in the fall so that they have enough fat and energy for the cold winter months. Raccoons live together in small dens in tree trunks or wood piles or old sheds. Red foxes live in, a, in family groups and can walk for miles in a day. In the fall and winter, their coats turn even redder and their bushy tails keep them warm in their dens. Snowshoe hares change color in the season. In the winter, their coats are white and in the spring, brown. They are fast and shy and they mostly come out at night. I love these here, great horned owls, nest in stumps in old trees and hunt during the night, so they are hard to spot, but you can hear them. Most great horned owls do not migrate or hibernate. White-tailed deer live in herds or groups. In the fall, the male deer shows off the beautiful antlers he has growing all year. In winter, they sometimes stand on their back legs to reach a tasty leaf or paw, or paw through the snow to find an acorn. Oh, and this one's all about the gray squirrel and acorns. Plink, plunk, plop. In autumn, many acorns drop. Check out this story to see or to learn more about the gray squirrels and the acorns. And it's talking about the tree. What happens to trees in the winter? It says, you might be wondering how I get through the winter. I don't have legs or wings, so I can't migrate. I can't make a nest or crawl into a den. Instead, I go into a state that is like a long, deep sleep. It's called dormancy. I stop growing and need very little energy. During the summer months, my roots soak up water from the ground and my leaves capture energy from sunlight. But when fall arrives and the days get colder and shorter, I don't need my leaves anymore. I drop them as I prepare for winter. I sleep beneath a blanket of snow until I feel spring in the air. I hope you enjoyed today's story and I hope you learned a lot about some animals and what they do to get ready for the winter during fall and you learned a little bit about the trees in fall and i hope you found all 15 of those blended words like and subscribe for more stories see you next time for story time in the park